know that most game trailers are made to hype us up. However, some developers take things a little too far. In this video, we take a look at trailers that were straight up misleading. They promised features that weren't in the game or showed graphics that were far prettier than the final release. Some even misrepresented the genre of the game. Get ready for 10 video game trailers that blatantly lied to us. Don't get us wrong, we absolutely love the trailer for the first Dead Island. It's an amazing work of art and especially the music stayed with us for a long time. However, this very slow and emotional trailer had very little to do with the actual game. Dead Island is a fun open-world zombie slaughter fest that is nowhere near as emotional as this trailer. The game became a surprise hit despite not living up to the promise of its cinematic trailer. It shows that misleading trailers can be a very successful promotional tool sometimes. The Splinter Cell series is unfortunately pretty much dead nowadays. Back in 2010, the developers already tried to mix the stealth formula up with some brand new gameplay in Splinter Cell Conviction. The first trailer showed Sam Fisher as a Jason Bourne-like figure without any high-tech gear. There was a big focus on brawling and using your hands as weapons. The destructible environments also played a big part in this. Unfortunately, almost none of these features made it into the final game. Splinter Cell Conviction still turned out to be great, so we can forgive the developers for presenting these ambitious ideas a little too early. Stay back, I'm warning you! Who killed my daughter? Bioshock Infinite had an enormous amount of hype before release. While the game wasn't bad, it could have been so much more. Especially the early trailers showed a vision that was way more spectacular than the game turned out to be. The combat looks so much better in the trailers with lots of awesome Skyhook action. There was also a great scene that showed Elizabeth using her powers and suddenly being transported back into the 1980s. We would really like to see a documentary about the development process of Bioshock Infinite, because clearly it was pretty rocky. What did you do? What did you do? Okay. As we look out the destroyed windows, we can see the gnarled landscape of LV426. It's one thing to make an awesome trailer for a game that turns out to be just okay in the end. However, the developers of Alien Colonial Marines made an amazing looking trailer for a game that turned out to be incredibly bad. The actual gameplay of the final product didn't even come close to the beautiful first trailer. They sealed the cavern. They're not stupid. No Zeno could get through that. It's like going from the most badass PC out there to something that resembles a PlayStation 2 game. The developers promised to capture the feel of the original movies too, but even that was nowhere to be found in the final release. Game over, man. Game over. You know a game is going through a troubled development cycle when it changes names. That happened to Overstrike, which was rebranded as Fuse. The original trailer showed colorful graphics and a group of cartoony-looking heroes. However, publisher EA decided that third-person shooters could only be successful if they looked like Gears of War. 
The game was transformed into a serious action game full of grey and brown colours. Fuse turned out to be just another generic shooter that didn't stand out from the crowd. Such a shame that they had to ditch all the elements that made it unique. We've mentioned the dumpster fire that is No Man's Sky so many times before. While the developers have worked hard to live up to the promise of the original trailers, they're still not quite there yet. We're still wondering where we can find the awesome-looking huge dinosaurs on any of the trillion planets in the game. They did deliver on the promise of giving us a nearly endless universe to explore, but failed to give us a good reason to do so. As it turns out, we like the idea of No Man's Sky way more than the actual game. Watch Dogs is another example of a trailer that caused a huge amount of hype when it was released. In 2012, it was the first glimpse of the next generation of powerful hardware, and we were blown away. However, as it turned out, the PS4 and Xbox One were unable to produce the amazing graphics of that first trailer. What we got was a visual downgrade that was significant. I want to do the right thing, but I got to think about all the people I love. It ain't worth the risk. You don't want no trouble. The hacking gameplay was also far less impressive than the trailers led us to believe. Ubisoft did improve a lot in Watch Dogs 2, but that one sold a lot worse than the original. We guess gamers were still feeling burned by this franchise. Killzone 2 is a school book example of how trailers can mislead an audience. In E3 2005, Sony showed the game for the first time. Sony told the press that it was real gameplay and gamers worldwide were totally hyped to play Killzone 2. Enemy spotted. It should not come as a surprise that Guerrilla Games had trouble living up to that promise. The final version of the PS3 shooter tried to mimic the footage, but couldn't match the insane graphics of the first trailer. It shows that pre-rendered trailers can be a very dangerous thing. The first trailers of Brutal Legend straight up lied about the genre of the game. It was made to look like a third-person action-adventure game in which Jack Black kicks a lot of ass. Yes, I am. Am I so many gamers were surprised when they found out that the majority of the gameplay consisted of real-time strategy. This turned off a lot of players and the game became a commercial failure. The marketing team really screwed up on this one. Oh, me? Oh, I'm nobody. I I'm just a guardian of metal. Oh, wow, great. So, you want to help me fight demons and stuff? Metal Gear Solid creator Kojima pulled a great prank on gamers awaiting one of the most anticipated games of all time. The first few trailers of Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty showed the awesome Solid Snake doing his tactical stealth action thing. Naturally, everybody assumed you would play as him in the final game, which was true, but only in the first mission. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. You played the entire game as white-haired protagonist Raiden instead. Many gamers were upset, but we can only laugh about this. What an awesome troll by this legendary developer. Were you ever deceived by a video game trailer? 
Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before?